the difficulties, I think, with mm -hmm. an evaluative approach are that mm -hmm. it closes off discussion too soon. It doesn't allow for the number of options that could be out there for people to resolve. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. people are far more creative than we are. Mm -hmm. And so if we've structured the outcome from the beginning, mm -hmm. then uh, people don't come up with ideas that really could fit mm -hmm. their particular situation. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's what often happens with evaluative mediation is mm -hmm. um, they'll say this is what the court would do or mm -hmm. this is a compromise that the two of you can get to really fast. Mm -hmm. as opposed to them really thinking through mm -hmm. what's an outcome that would be mm -hmm. much better for them. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I have to say that um, there are situations where I think evaluative med mediation is absolutely the way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, again, in, in a powering balance, mm -hmm. a facilitative or a transformative mediator may not be able to structure a process that allows the less powerful person to really fully mm -hmm. participate. Um, and an evaluative mediator can make the statement, this is not fair, mm -hmm. which a facilitative or transformative mediator really can't do. Mm -hmm. I think that can be very, very helpful. Have you done that? Have there been times in your practice where you've basically said, uh, you give an example of a time when you've said to somebody, or both people, I just don't think this is fair? I think the only times that I've done that um, are if I'm mediating case where there's been domestic violence mm -hmm. or with um, substance abusers mm -hmm. who are um, the domestic violence cases uh, I will say I don't think that that amount of um, interaction between the two of you is healthy mm -hmm. um, or with substance abusers um, mm -hmm. your children really probably do need a schedule <laughs> that mm -hmm. kind of thing mm -hmm. Um, but I, I always preface it by saying, mm -hmm. um, at this point, I'm going to be making some comments about my own opinions. These are my opinions. You don't have to go with them. Mm. If you don't want to hear them, mm -hmm. you don't have to. Mm -hmm. um, and you certainly don't have to follow anything I'm suggesting. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's very important. I mean, so that the, almost the use of or you're saying it at all uh, is to alert them but not even then to direct them. Well, I am suggesting, I, I am directing them. Okay. I'm saying don't do that. <laughs> okay. But if they chose to do it, would you say, I won't be the mediator? There have been a couple of times when I've said, um, I think you need legal advice, I think you need mm -hmm. to talk to a physician, I think you need mm -hmm. to talk to blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. and unless you get that information, I'm mm -hmm. not willing to continue in the mm -hmm. mediation. Mm -hmm. But rare, it's rare. Yeah. 